Now, the Calgary Police Service is currently investigating a double fatality at Winsport following an after-hours incident on its luge bobsled track. Emergency crews were called to the property around 1.30 a.m. this morning, Saturday, February the 6th, 2016, for a report of se several injured people on the closed track. At this early point in the investigation, it is believed at least eight teenagers, all males, entered the property after hours and used a personal sled toboggan in an attempt to go down the bobsled track. Part way down, the group hit a large gate used to separate the bobsled and loose tracks. Two of the males died at the scene. The remaining six were taken to hospital for injuries ranging from minor to serious. Due to their injuries, police have not been able to identify many of the victims and therefore next of kin have not yet been notified. The Calgary Police Service Traffic Reconstruction Unit has been brought in to help with the investigation, which will include officers from our centralized general investigation section and detectives are here on scene. Investigators are working to determine how the teams entered the property and what led up to the decision to enter the closed track. Windsport is cooperating fully with the investigation, including supplying CCTV footage that may assist with determining how and why this occurred. I'll take questions and answers as best I can. In terms of security, um, are you familiar with what type of security they have here in total? I am not, other than what you can see here from on site, which is a fenced area and CCTV. Have you had any luck finding the two individuals? Uh, no, I can give you a correction to that. This morning I, I thought we thought there was two outstanding individuals. All eight individuals are now accounted for. Obviously the two deceased uh, teenagers plus the other six. Uh, this morning, the two that I thought were outstanding were actually not, they were part of the group. So, uh, thank you for bringing that up. That's a correction. So, we're not looking for anybody else. Does that mean that you've been able to speak to some of the victims who were less severely injured and get that information? No, we just clarified it from the call takers. Yeah. What's their condition? Uh, so, two deceased at the scene, uh, one is in critical, and the other five are being treated for their, for their injuries. Any idea as to how fast they were traveling? I've no idea, I'm afraid. I'm not a, a bobsled or a loser, so I don't know. I'm sorry. Do you think this is where they uh, they come climbed over the fence here? Is that your belief? I don't know. I'm going to leave that to the investigators to find out. Obviously, they're reviewing CCTV tape and uh, speaking to on-site security. But um, at this point, I don't know which which point they entered. Who Have called you, you at 1:30 a.m.? Uh, I th on-site security called EMS, and EMS called us to assist. Oh, sorry. Can you clarify that? The 911 was. Came from on-site security who called EMS and then EMS on scene called the police. And we were all here within three or four minutes. Were there two calls or just the one from here? I'm going to go with one. One, one 911 from employees here. Okay. That's um, my, my belief. Yeah. Have you made any progress on tracking down the owners and the license plates on the vehicles? Yes, they've all been contacted. And um, are they related to it? Um, still notifying next of kin. I'm not, I'd rather not comment on that. Do we know if um, whoever called you from security was? Part of the patrol car, or were they part of the staff that were working on site? I don't know if they were patrol, but it's certainly staff on site. Can you clarify exactly where on the track it was? Um, again, I'm not familiar with the, the, the full length of the bobsled. I believe the bobsled and the luge sites intersect. Uh, I believe the actual incident took place at that intersection. So the bobsled site here behind us goes down for about um, 100 meters and I'm not absolutely certain on the distances you'd have to I'm sure you could look that up but where the luge and the bobsled slides uh, lanes intersect that's where the incident took place. So you believe these are just uh, some after hours hijinks? Well it's, it's a tragedy it's, um, it's a terrible misfortune that this has occurred obviously two young men lost their lives last night so. Could the four people injured could face charges? Oh, I'm not going to talk about charges at this point we need to you know deal with what's going on with this tragedy and speak to the next of kin and move on from there. Have, have the investigators will come forward with any further information with uh, regards to that. Has any of the next of kin been notified? I'm not aware of that. Has Winsport told you whether or not this sort of thing has ever happened before? Because it seems like something that might happen. Not to my knowledge, no. This is an Olympic facility. How dangerous is this flight? I can't comment on that. It's a Olympic facility. We have trained athletes who go down here at, you know, breakneck speeds. I mean, it's very dangerous. I haven't been told. I, sp I think we still have investigators at the hospital waiting for them to speak to us when they're obviously severely traumatized and they're dealing with their injuries. To the best of my knowledge, yes. Do you suspect alcohol or anything was involved? I have no knowledge of that. So there's some video footage available, right? Is it from Winsport? That's from the CCTV that their investigators are looking at, yes. Again, have you seen I haven't physically seen it. I'm, I'm leaving that for the investigators. So you have no idea how fast they were going? 
I'm not a bobsled illusion. I don't know. Um, you'd have to speak to one of our colleagues in the Olympic field. Was this road open at the time? No, I believe it's locked and chained all the time. How big was the accident? Um, I haven't visited it, so I can't comment. When was the scene cleared? So they were in the Nasser at 1.30, and when was it kind of cleared out? Because I'm hearing from people that this gate was open and there was nothing in sight around 2.30 a.m. Is that... I have no knowledge of that, sorry. How'd you get uh, the people off the road? Uh, slowly, carefully. Uh, I know EMS. Um, I know EMS gave a release this morning. I think they had seven ambulances on scene, mm -hmm. and obviously, given the conditions of an ice track, it was very quite treacherous for them. But uh, we managed to get everybody off. Is there a way, like, to drive down to where they were? Did you, did they have I think there's a closer there? touch point at that luge bobsled intersection, and that's where the kind of the ambulances ferry to. We've noticed some police presence here in the community. What would that? Uh, what part of the investigation would? Uh, neighborhood inquiries. Uh, obviously, we have homes that oversight oversee the whole back fence here. So we've had officers uh, knocking on these doors here that oversee the back fence, just to see if they were awake at 1:30 last night. Maybe I know some residences do actually have cameras that face outwards for their own protection. So maybe they've seen something that may aid us with our investigation. So that's why we're doing door to door. Thanks, Paul. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, sir.